Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I diffuse my hair. So in this routine, I applied the Camille Rose Fresh Curl and then I used the Curl Aid on top and then the Curl Maker to finish off with. This routine is up already, so I'll leave the link for it in the description box below so you can check out my opinion on the combo. Once all the products are applied in all the sections, I start by hovering the diffuser all over on low heat, low speed. And I try not to touch my hair at all to minimalize the frizz. And I do that for about five minutes before I go in to dry the roots. My ends tend to dry more quickly than the roots, so I don't spend much time or effort drying the ends and more focus on the roots instead. Once I'm done hovering all over, I go in to dry the roots. So as you can see, I'm placing the diffuser all over my head, jotting it around and holding it in place for about five seconds each time. And then I like to flip my head over to get underneath, which is the part that takes the longest to dry, even with air drying because of how dense it is back there. Once I'm done drying the roots, I like to scrunch up the front section of my hair because it is a looser curl pattern than at the back and I would like my whole head to match, please and thank you. So the scrunching helps to spring those curls back up and that results in a better shape of my wash and goes. So I start by scrunching the ends first because my curls are quite long and then I scrunch upwards more and more and then I scrunch all the way up from the ends to the roots and I do that until my hair is about 60 70 percent dry so diffusing does still take a long time and i don't diffuse to 100 percent by the way because i don't have the time for it <laughs> i just do it until my hair is about 80 to 90 percent dry all over and then air dry for the rest of the time so basically i do it to set the style so it doesn't begin to frizz and that's also another benefit of diffusing apparently it helps to reduce the amount of frizz compared to air drying so the only time I diffuse my hair is if I am short for time and I need to dry my hair ASAP. I'm not a fan of going outside of my hair wet and my shape always comes out funny if I air dry 100% and that's something I hated about my wash and goes. And even if I didn't have that shape and issue, I still would recommend air drying to 100% especially in the winter because it's cold and you will get sick. <laughs> And also, if you do have dense hair as well, I wouldn't recommend air drying to 100% because it's gonna take a long time to dry, especially at the back. And also, another benefit for diffusing is that it's supposed to be healthier for your hair than air drying. Something about the amount of time that your hair is wet for, but I mean, I usually go to bed with my hair damp all the time, so I don't know. I'm always going to do what works for my hair rather than follow a trend. I usually do my wash and goes at night and air dry for a few hours before bed just so that I'm not sleeping on wet hair. And I wrap it up how I usually do and I find that way results in the least frizz and a better shape. And I've been doing my wash and goes that way for a very long time. So I'm not about to change what's been working for me. Okay. With my experience of air drying 100%, I do get a lot of frizz and a lot of shrinkage at the back, which makes the shape of my washer girls horrible. So I never, ever air dry to 100%, ever. So I technically never, ever wash and go. <laughs> and as some of you know already, I don't like diffusing. I don't want to wash deep condition style and then diffuse for a further 20 to 30 minutes. Like, nah, I'm good. That's all long. <laughs> I just do my washer girls at night and I'm ready for the next day take my hair down flash it boom bam done but diffusing does have its place and its benefits so again i do recommend to diffuse in the winter time and i do recommend if you actually need to wash and go out of the house and again i don't recommend going out with wet hair in any climate or going to bed with wet hair I do have a lot of wash and go videos off my channel so if you do want to see how i do my wash and goes i'll leave the link for the playlist down below i'll also leave the link for this wash and go down below so you can check out the review of the products these products gave my hair more of a wet look which i didn't mind at all <laughs> but yes that's all there is to it guys i hope you enjoyed the video and if you found it useful don't forget to give it a great big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more content for myself thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye